I'm going to give you a very basic introduction to editing text files through your terminal. We will create an executable bash sh file which allows you to run multiple bash commands. And for this tutorial we are going to use vim. There are other text editors but I find vim is very useful and is installed by default on most Linux operating systems. So vim is pretty straightforward. Let's just vim hello world.sh and this is a new file. When you're in Vim, you'll see something like this. If you hit I, you go into insert mode, and now you can start typing. Let's just type echo hello world, and then we'll put a sleep command, sleep two, so it will echo hello world and then sleep for two seconds. And then let's echo goodbye world. And then to exit insert mode, you hit the escape key. What we want to do is you want to hit the colon key, so shift colon key, and then W for save or write, and then Q for quit. So it's going to write and then quit. And now if we look, we have hello world.sh, and you can run this shell script by calling sh and then the name of the script. So it'll print hello world, now it paused for two seconds, and then printed goodbye world. And instead of making new files, you can also use vim to edit files that already exist. So again, we hit I to go into insert mode, and then let me show you, I'm just going to type a bunch of garbage, and then we're going to do colon quit without saving. So we're doing a colon Q exclamation point to quit without saving and now if we go back to the file we see it didn't save any of those lines. Let's go back into insert mode. Let me just add a couple more random commands. Let's just make a new directory make dir called files and then let's just echo random text and to files and we'll call the file word.txt and again hit escape on your keyboard hit shift colon and then w to save and then q to quit and now if we run this sh hello world.sh so it will print those out but again we should have this new directory and inside files we have the word.txt and we can just print it out and you see it printed out random text so that's the very basics of using vim and also i show you a very basic introduction into what a shell script is it's just a useful way of putting multiple commands together into one file that you can save and run over and over again. And one more thing I wanted to make clear is that you can use vim to make any kind of text file. It doesn't have to be a .sh. So we can do random.txt, save, or we can just do random csv csv and make a csv. It doesn't matter as long as it's a text file. 